Jerry Seinfeld has been with us before. He's a very funny young comedian, and he will be appearing at Cobb's Pube. <laughs> Cobb's Pube. Cobb's Pub. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Cobb's Pub, come on, there's something wrong there. <laughs> Cobb's Pub in San Francisco, August the 16th to the 18th, and in Vienna, Virginia, on August the 25th. It's 25th. <laughs> <laughs> Would you welcome, and quickly, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> hey! Hi! Well, I'm here. We're all here. You're here. I think that's important. Because you wanted to go out today. You're here. You wanted to go out. You felt like going out. And now you've done it. But you have to go back. And sometimes it seems to me like this is all we do in life. You sit around the house. You go, I want to go out. You go out. You stand around somewhere for a little while. And you go, I got to be getting back. I've been out. I got to get back. I want to go to sleep. I want to get up. I want to go out again tomorrow. <laughs> Plus, I got to go to work. I get home from work. I got to get out. I go out. I got to get back. <laughs> Wherever you are, you got to go in life. People understand that. You go up to them. Can you stay? Nope. Got to go. Okay. <laughs> I went out the other day myself. Went to buy some shoes. Something happens when you buy shoes. Shoe salesman, you can always tell when a shoe salesman's working on commission. You know, he always gives you those lines like, gee, we didn't have that sandal in your size. How about these rubber hip boots? <laughs> you look like you like seafood, you know. <laughs> but that's a tough decision, you know, when you try on shoes, because you got to walk around that store kind of like a zombie. You know, you try on shoes, and you just kind of walk around, yeah, these are good. <laughs> Yeah, I like these. Your whole mind goes right into the feet trying to make that decision. Yeah. Then you go, I can't, it's such a hard decision, and they don't help you. You have that little one-foot mirror, that little mirror. What do I need that for? To get an idea what my cat will think of the shoes? What is the point of that angle? In case I'm walking down the street past a bump, you know, <laughs> passed out in the curb, what do you think of these? So I got into an argument with the guy, I didn't want to buy them. You know, you always feel like guilty about, you didn't want to buy them. And this. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I'll tell you, when you argue with someone, that's the moment when I wish I did. You know, cigarette is the best thing to have in an argument, you know? Be cigarette smokers, you know, they're always waving it around, you know? You see what I'm saying? Because I have a cigarette, you have nothing. But their best moment, this is the one I really love, when they put that cigarette out, that argument is over. You know what I mean? I can stand there, I feel this, I think this. They go, really? That's your whole opinion? <laughs> and it's all over. But smoke, I guess, is something you do that makes you feel like you're growing up. I joined the Cub Scouts when I was a kid. I think you can tell that. <laughs> Certain inner confidence you have when you've been through an organization like that. <laughs> I'm sure we have some ex-cubs here in the... Hey, wow. Anybody still go to the meetings? <laughs> kind of tough to stay with it after a while. I remember that uniform, boy. I love that little outfit. At least I thought I would. The blue shirt, the blue pants, blue cap, little yellow button on the top. <laughs> little teeny yellow neckerchief and a huge chunk of metal around your neck. <laughs> I was a little kid, that thing was like a toaster oven to me, you know. Somebody walks by me with a magnet, I'd go, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it takes me 25 minutes to set the outfit up. I go outside, get beat up, come back, put my regular clothes on. <laughs> I couldn't get anywhere in that outfit. I think that's why we had to form packs to survive. <laughs> And I really thought that it would be a thing with girls to have a uniform, you know? I thought it would help. I would go up to girls in the schoolyard with the uniform on, and I'd go, you know, I'm only on a three-day pass. <laughs> and then she would beat me up. <laughs> Nobody likes you in that outfit. I think that's why they teach Cub Scouts to do a lot of camping. I think if we had normal clothes, we would check into a hotel like anybody else. 
In that outfit, you want to be in the woods and you just wait there for the Cub Scout master to come out and go, all right, men, we've been out. We gotta be getting back. <laughs> Thank you. That's funny stuff. Thank you, thank you. That's very funny stuff. I feel funny tonight. Yeah, what? Do you? Do you yeah. have those days where you don't feel yeah. funny? You get out and you know, they don't, nothing's cooking? And then somehow you get out there and the audience makes you feel silly for some reason. Yeah. They laugh and you go, yeah, that is funny. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you got any other funny people in your family? Brothers, sisters? I have a uh, sister. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she's that funny. Yeah. She just got, she got married. Uh, That's nice. Yeah, that was real nice. A shock always, I think, to the sibling. I was upset. I think. Well, you know, when a brother or a sister gets married, the way you know them, you can't believe anyone would marry them. No. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, what they're in for. Right. You're right. I met this guy. I said, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> I mean, have you ever tried to borrow a record album from her? <laughs> ever shared the back seat in a long car trip? You're in for trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you funny. We got to pause here. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. There we are. Good stuff. 